Hello world, uh, here I am together with Jakob Nilsson, who is tapping the glide blocks for the latest machine that um, uh, Jakob and I have designed together, and Jakob has done all the mechanical design and final sketches. So we milled them out on the, the shop out, uh here behind me, and uh, Jakob's now gonna take us through the machine. So, it's right now in parts. This part here is the gantry that will be the traveling part of the bot. The bed is fixed on this one, contrast to the Hattori version we have made before. Yes, because this, this guy is called Hemfrito, since it's a little baby of Hemfri, the, the full-size machine we made in Amsterdam together with Alex Schaub. All motion system parts are made with the rack and pinion system, uh, familiar to all fabricatable machines. This is the pinion, this is the rack. And a specific CNC optimized shape that makes it very fast to fabricate, but also gives very smooth motion. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but what we see here is actually the underside of the, the bed for the machine. Yes. And uh, some of you might have noticed that the sides here are, uh, have breakaway tabs. Since this machine comes with Valkromat uh, axis, they can be replaced later by breaking off these tabs and putting in uh, some stronger material like aluminium. Yes. And that's true for all axes, they're all replaceable. So what's kind of cool is that we have found that the performance with this you know, uh, pinion and glide block uh, system on the chamfer rail, it's, it's working so well that you can actually have decent performance just with uh, HDF or you know, very dense MDF material. And that makes it super fast to make, super fast to prototype, but you can also upgrade. So you glue together this entire gantry construction, so that becomes a rock solid, very stiff torsion box. Uh, but then the front part, you can swap. So uh, you can then either just keep a stack of these and swap them out whenever you need, they're cheap and fast to make, or if you want higher performance, you can then just take the same files and build the exact, exact same part from 8 millimeter aluminium instead of 8 millimeter Valkramat. And like this, we can be able to f prototype fast, make decent machines cheap and fast, and a little bit more expensive, a little bit slower, make very high performance machines. So that's a new experiment. Uh, you mentioned that it will be glued together. It's also to hold it together while the glue is hardening. We have slotted all the parts that will be screwed together to hold the parts steady while the glue, glue is setting. So everything has these finger joints and uh, slots for wood screws that will only be there to hold it together while it hardens. And also note, to guide the precision. Note how Jakob has put uh, labels and part numbers on all the parts. So here for instance it says out and there is B2 and B1 and then on the inside of this is engraved B1 and here B2. So we're trying to also to make it easier to build this as a kit. And Jakob's client for this project actually has ordered the kit. So the, cl the client is going to put the machine together himself, uh, following instructions on GitHub. So the underside of the bed here is a torsion box construction. Instead of just stacking expensive and heavy materials on top of each other, we tried to make it uh, light and easy. Uh, good material use as well. So this will be, uh, come a very, very solid and flat box. Uh, very rigid uh, for, for when uh, we have large milling forces. Uh, the replaceable part on top will be a spoil board, which will be replaced as you mill it down. But this always remains. And this tapered shape, that's because uh, we're actually hoping this machine can work vertical as well. So by having it standing up and the gantry fighting gravity, then it can have a very small footprint. So it's also a first prototype and a, a beta test for this. So that's the video walkthrough for now. <laughs> Stay put uh, for a first Hello World milling job soon. <laughs> 